Wow. And eventually it caught up and affected yeah. my mental health. Which, and how um, are you now? Because well, you've spoken about, obviously, you, you came out, you were very honest early on. People talk about it quite openly now, about being bipolar and suffering mm. from depression, but yeah. you were one of the first. Yeah, well, I think it's, um, it's, a very, it's, it's, a, it's a major... It affects every family in, in the world that I, I know of. Everybody's got someone in their family who suffers from mm. some form of mental health. It's a very intricate subject because the brain is the most intricate part of our body. We know mm. not that much about it. But I wrote a book. I was open about it and uh, I get a lot of letters you know every week kids writing to me saying you know they, they're feeling you know, 18 year old kids sitting at home and unhappy and, and I think it's really I say you know if you've got a dog walk it talk to your family go and see your doctor and yeah. tell him yeah how you're feeling demand the time yeah. and again looking yeah. back do help. you see things now when, when you were at the height of your success yeah. and on that roller coaster do you yeah. see things now that that there were issues with bipolar then and you just didn't know what it was? Well, I think it's a bit hard because the symptoms of bipolar, if you go into it, are um, dressing outlandishly, spending loads of money, being very irrational and being very promiscuous, which is my, <laughs> my job description. Is that your CV. <laughs> so you kind of don't notice it. But, but it's not about me. It's, it's about, yeah. you know, it's yeah. regular family. And, and it, it's a very... I mean, bipolar disorder itself really just is a term up and down and the antidepressants bring things mm. to a sort of steady thing yeah. but you mustn't lose your personality I, I didn't write a song for seven years mm. i didn't make love for seven years so it, it had a price to pay but and, how did you come out of it then what what was the trigger i had a very good psychiatrist at some point i went to see him right. and, and he it was a, a fabulous guy and he said look do you know what these pills do? Do you know what goes inside oh. your brain? Mm. Do you know what these pills actually do to your brain? And it, it's not easy to understand the serotonin levels and, and plus the fact everybody's unique. Yeah. And uh, he educated me and, and he said, well, look, you don't have to be on these pills all your life mm. if you want to try and come off, but you have to be very, very patient. Mm. We're talking years to come off, not, you know, the worst thing people do is they I feel all right now I'm coming off. Yeah. And that is a disaster. So it was really getting out. If you've got a dog, walk it. If you mm. see a tree, hug it. Really, I'm not being corny. No, no, absolutely. Because the, the last people you can actually talk to are your parents because you, yeah. you feel this awful yeah. shame. And you don't have to worry them as well. And, and friends. Do you